Hello friends, in this video we are going to discuss about some of the common terms we use in Kubernetes. Here we discuss about OCI, CRI, CNI, CSI and RunC. For example, if you want to deploy our application in a Kubernetes cluster consisting of multiple worker nodes, we will send an API request to the API server in the control plane. The API server in the control plane will authenticate and authorize the request and then it will persist the data in the payload to the HCD database in the control plane. Then the scheduler component in the control plane will identify a particular worker node based on the resource requirements and other scheduling parameters to deploy the application in that node. Once a particular worker node is identified, the kubelet in the worker node will take the responsibility of deploying that application as pods inside that worker node. So kubelet is the agent which presents in every worker node which will deploy the applications as pods inside that worker node. And also once the deployment completes, the kubelet also sends the status of the containers to the control plane. In the worker node, in addition to kubelet component, we also have another important component called container runtime. Kubelet interacts with the container runtime via an interface called CRI. CRI means container runtime interface. This interface provides the specifications and the required methods which need to be implemented by corresponding container runtime. We have different container runtimes like container D, CRIO and so on. These container runtimes implement the specifications provided by CRI. So kubelet will call this container runtime via the CRI to create and manage the life cycle of the containers inside a pod. The container runtime can be categorized into high level container runtime and low level runtime. To run the containers, they need the container images. Those container images will be pulled by the high level container runtime like container D and then this will call the low level runtime like run C to create the containers by using that image. Here low level runtime will interact with the kernel features like the namespaces, control groups and so on while creating the containers in the pod. So the container images which we use need to follow the specifications provided by OCI. Here OCI means open container initiative. It provides the specifications for the container images and containers. This means we need to follow the rules while creating the images as well as while uploading the images to the container registry like Google container registry and so on. In addition to the image specifications, it also provides the specifications for the containers. These specifications provide how the container needs to be created, how the lifecycle needs to be managed and so on. So here the low level runtime will implement the specifications provided by OCI to create the containers and how the containers are managed inside the pod. In addition to the creation of containers, the pods in the worker node need to communicate with other pods in the worker node as well as the pods in other worker nodes as well. So for that, these pods need network interfaces. For this, the container runtime will interact with the CNI to create the required network interfaces and corresponding IP addresses for the pods in the worker node. Here CNI means container network interface. These interfaces are used to interact with the network plugins in the Kubernetes ecosystem. We have various network plugins like Calico, WeaveNet, Planel and so on. These network plugins provide the actual network implementation for the pod networks in the Kubernetes cluster. So the container runtime will interact with these plugins via CNI to create the required network interfaces and attach them to the pods in the worker node. The pods can communicate with other pods in the same worker node and also in other worker nodes. In addition to the network requirements, the applications also need the persistent storage. For this, we have various drivers for the storage. For example, the drivers for AWS EBS, NFS and so on. These drivers will be registered with the kubelet in the worker node so that the kubelet can communicate with the storage drivers via CSI. Here CSI means container storage interface. So this interface will help to implement the storage requirements by the applications by using different drivers according to different formats of the storage and also as per the requirements by different vendors. So kubelet will interact with the CSI to create the required persistent volumes and to attach those volumes to the containers in the pod. So here we discussed about OCI, CRI, CNI, CSI and run C in Kubernetes. We discussed about the basic communication between various components, but the actual communication will be more complex among various components. We will discuss about those workflows when we go through each of these components in detail in the coming videos. I hope this video helps. Thanks a lot for watching.